Come on, good one. Just bring the prison, bring the day. Come on, talk. Today, I was scrolling through. I saw a young man and his mother. And his mother had him find a Bible verse. Find this redeeming space with his primary. And the verse itself was 2 Timothy, 1st chapter, 7th verse. God has not given you the spirit of peace. Can you now imagine that power resonated from that verse? God has not given you the spirit of peace, but of love, power, and a sound mind. I really want you to let that sink in. I talked about a couple of my children, then they were not born with fear. In fact, one of them actually just left, became a good one, but fun. But I also want to talk back one time with my youngest son, saw a wizard, and was immediately frightened and it was, they triggered something. I grabbed him, I walked off over to the police officer, and I told him, touch him. I told my son, just touch him. He touched the police officer, and I looked at him. And as I looked at him, I told him, don't you ever fear another man. But what was I really attempting to do? The lesson was to respect everyone, but to fear no one. Fear is not real. It is our imagination expecting the worst or what we can conclude as the worst. I'm going to say that again. Fear is not real. It is our imagination expecting We're drawing our own conclusion of a situation without that situation actually happening. Most of us fear is one thing that is constant in life and without any change, without any option, it's going to happen. We're going to get old. We're going to go through that one thing. Change. Change in our health, change in our daily routine, change in our living situation. We actually can be in charge of leaving our own support system, but not actually concluding what it is that we are actually looking for. Because fear drives our decision making. Fear dictates some of our actions. But why did that verse, Second Timothy, chapter 1, verse 7, why did that resonate? Because it's easy if fear isn't real, and I believe in God just saying, I am not afraid, it's not enough, my actions have to make, match my words. My actions have to match my words, and that's why we are moving by faith and not by sight. And if I feel and I truly believe that God got me, my action will show exactly what it is I'm saying. 